How you going there, folks? Paul Bard signing in here for another weekly video update. Thank you for joining with me. I wanted to continue on a little bit from where we left off last week. Some of the comments that I received suggested that some people just felt a little overwhelmed. I mean, I understand that the newbie can look at some of the content that I went through in last week's video about what you need to be successful online and think, Paul, I can't possibly learn all of that stuff. See, here's the thing. You don't need to learn all of that stuff. Though I believe it is important that you should at least grasp an understanding of that stuff so then when you have others do the work for you or as you begin to develop it, you can learn it faster when that time comes. So today, let me just narrow things down and let's look at the mini site marketing plan. You know, the standard mini site, you've got a couple of pages, a product, e-delivery and affiliates. So let's quickly go through that and just give you an idea of what would be required to put this up if you've never done it before. Firstly, it begins with you must have a product. And we're talking the digital delivery product here. It could be an ebook, it could be an audio file, it could be a video file, it could be a combination of all of them. Let's look at the ebook, for example. The easiest way is in a PDF document. That would be very simply where you write up uh, your articles and your book, so to speak, in, in a Word document, for example, or some other text editor. And you have maybe links to then download audio or video, which is what I do with my ebook products. And then you publish that as a PDF, portable document format. You know, the Adobe Acrobat is the most common reader that we have for these types of things. It's the simplest and easiest way to deliver an electronic information product. So you'll need to know how to do that. And I mean, you can grasp that in a day. It's easy stuff. Moving on from there, of course, you need your website, you need your domain name, you must have the website itself, you need it hosted somewhere, and so you're going to need to understand a little bit about those skills that are required to actually do those things. And I mean, that you can pick up with a good guide easily in a day. So there's another, another suggestion for you. When it comes to building the website, you have a couple of options here. You're going to need some sales copy to go on it. That's the stuff that the people are going to read and get them interested in wanting to purchase that product. I strongly recommend that if you're brand spanking new that you get some tools and resources to help you do that or even get someone perhaps to do it for you. Even an up and coming but who's got a little bit of a track record there. The thing about sales copy, it's called sales copy. Now I love this. I have some good copy development skills now for writing sales copy. No problem. Taking me a while to be able to generate those. But I learned it by copying from others. Copywriting, it's called. By looking at what people were doing. And, and here's what you need to do. Simply grab a good book, an e-book, about sales copywriting. There's a number of them online that you can just find and download for free. And read through what others have done. Perhaps even print them out. This is fantastic. Print them out and go through with a pen or pa in a pen paper and, and actually make notes about, well, I like this or this would generate this response and begin to dissect them. If you want to learn this yourself and if you're going to be in business for a long time, it's a, a great way to, to do things. Certainly to at least check the work that others might be doing for you. Does that make sense? So sales copy is very, very important. Your headlines, you know, your bullet points your testimonials, um, and of course your call to action, the order that comes right down at the very end. These things are an essential part of this mini site model that we're talking about today. Now, once you've done that, at the very bottom, well, actually even before the bottom, we need some kind of graphics to go in there. So you can use a template that somebody else has created and just modify their graphics, which is what I've always done. Or you can do the graphics yourself if that's your thing. Or you can get someone else to do the graphics for you, which is what I've also done because I'm not a graphics guy. I can modify stuff. It's enough. I can't create fresh. I don't need to. I just find and modify. That's the easiest way to learn. So we've got the graphics, we've got the website hosted, we've got it up on the server somewhere, we've been able to FTP, file transfer protocol, and get these things from the actual, uh, your computer, through to the internet. That's another, these are little skills along the way that you need to learn, and they're easy. You know, I'll probably shoot myself in the foot <coughs> for doing this right now, but most of this stuff you can learn online for free. 
It's going to take you a little bit longer than paying someone for their information product or for their service in order to learn these things. But almost all of this you can learn at no cost online if you're prepared to put in the time to actually get out there and find these things. So moving on, we then have our all order link at the bottom, the call to action. So you need to be able to integrate all of this with an online merchant. ClickBank is one of many. To checkout, one of many. PayPal, one of many. You're going to need some kind of technical expertise to be able to hook it up with this merchant who will process the transaction for you, who will take hold of the money and make it so that your customer can download their product. This is important stuff. This is the be-all and end-all. You can't do it without this. These are some of the things that you're going to have to know in order to be successful with this mini-site model. Now, here's the thing. You don't have to know how to do it all. No, but I believe it's important to understand this so that at least if you do pay somebody else to do this for you, I mean... You know, come to me, I can probably fit you in for the moment and perhaps help you out along this way. If not, my membership training site will give you all of this information just at a click of a button. But you need to be able to understand it. And of course, once your customer has downloaded that, then we've got to look at marketing, which is another whole kettle of fish. What I've just explained to you all together up front, well, it's just the, the model of having the thing on there so it's ready to work for you. But now we've got to get some traffic to it. Pay-per-click options, article marketing, uh, cost per acquisition, your CPAs. You may have heard some of these phrases before. They're all different formats of traffic that you can then generate to get traffic. The affiliate business model is another one where affiliates send you their traffic and you, of course, pay them an affiliate commission easiest done on the back end with the merchant there are a number of things as you can begin to see if you've never looked at this before you could be thinking oh man i just can't possibly do all of this straight away you're right you probably can't but don't get downheartened by that because there are many other things that you can do to you know pay your bills so to speak there are many other things that you can do for your bread and butter income while you're learning to build your business online and that's one of the keys to online success learning to build your business while you're paying for your bread and butter income let me finish up by just reiterating what i mentioned last week the number one thing there it is the most important thing that you've got to do when you're building your online business matter of fact this applies to any business but of course, I specialize in online business success. What is the number one thing? Remember the movie um, City Slickers where Curly was lying up. He was just about to pass away and, and, uh, the, and he was asked, well, Curly, what is, what is the number one thing, that, that, that you know, key to success and happiness? He said, it is just one thing. You will know it when you find it. Now, here's my suggestion for the number one thing when it comes to business success. It is simply this. Spend less money than you make. Duh! It's really simple stuff, but it's so important because if you spend more, spend more, spend more on a continual basis, you're going to go out of business, folks. You're going to blow it. You're going to go down the tube, down the gurgler. Everything's going out the back door. You're back out there working for a J-O-B. There's no other way to do it. So you need some way to be able to very simply get your bread and butter money while you're learning to build your empire, your mini empire, your big empire, your huge empire, whatever it is that you want to do. So next week, I think I might talk about some of those bread and butter income ideas. And we'll get started from there. You have a fantastic week. This is Paul Bars from paulbars.com, P-A-U-L. You can see it down there, B-A-R-R-S.com. Right now, I'm specializing in online business podcasts. I've been doing it for nearly 10 years. So drop on over there. Have a listen to some of my free audios that you can download every week. Talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.